Okay, now let us talk about the Met Gala 2023. Let us connect some dots, right? So that you will see that we wrestle not with flesh and blood, wickedness in high places. We must always pay attention and realize when these people are paying homage to these entities, right? No, three look on the red carpet caught my eyes. And you need to understand that it is easy for people to say it's art, it's fashion, nothing to see here, keep it moving. We're talking about Doja Cat's look, Lil Nas X, and Gerard Leto or Jaren Leto. And all three were cat themed. Now the first thing that came into my spirit is the ancient Egyptian goddess Set Sekhmet. No, over here we believe that Setmek is nothing more than Astaroth in ancient Egypt. Let us connect some dots and hear what the expert has to say about this particular ancient goddess that we believe these three celebrities were paying homage to, right? Because after all, these entities, they are back, right? Whether you want to believe it or not, they are back and their spirit is busy influencing and roaming this earth. Let us get into this. A goddess of war and the destroyer of the enemies of the sun god Ra. Setmek was also associated with the disease and with healing. Pay attention. Now this particular cat goddess is associated with the disease and the healing of the disease right and where did we see where we have a major disease and all of a sudden we have the cure understand how they operate let us continue she was called the eye of Ra she was known as the lady of pestilence and the red lady now I made a video a couple weeks ago talking about all this red that i noticed in the entertainment industry including none other than doja cat at the shipperelli fashion show right in full red from head to toe and she was jeweled out by path mcgrath the same individual that has done little nas x look cat look on the catwalk right and with that video i said doja cat is channeling or paying homage to astaroth right and it's the same thing here now let us continue this particular god is said to be very bloodthirsty right now in ancient egypt they tell us that cats were not worshipped as gods themselves, but they were vessels that the gods chose to inhabit and whose likeness God chose to adopt. Cats serve as an everyday reminder of the power of the gods. Okay? Now, interesting point. Cats serve as a vessel that these ancient gods like to inhabit right there we get our answer because these ancient gods and their offsprings they are coming and they will be using a lot of these celebrities and other people bodies as vessel right and some of them is already been used these ancient deities right they are using celebrity bodies already as vessels so therefore these people are paying homage to this evil wicked deity right in front of our very eyes and many probably think it's just fashion another thing about cats according to greek historian Herodotus, the egyptian would shave their eyebrows as a mark of respect when mourning the loss of a family cat and we also see where Doja Cat, right, shaved her eyebrows a couple months ago. So definitely we can connect the dots and understand this is not P 
pure entertainment. This is not pure fashion. They are not being creative. They are sending you a message. These entities, they are coming back and they'll be using humanity, some of us, our bodies as vessels, right? And definitely one of the biggest ones that we should pay attention to is Astaroth because the spirit of Astaroth is everywhere, right? We need to pray. We need to ask the Most High for guidance and protection because we're certainly going to need it. Let us pray. And say glory be to the most high.